What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Scribblenauts Unlimited. Today, we are in an area known as the Kana Craters. And originally, I was going to go to the Syntax Station here, but I've already gone to that area by accident, so I didn't have the, like, fancy intro thing to do to, like, show it off, and... I just kind of like having one of those to start the episode with, so I came here instead. Anyways, see what we got in this extremely. St oh, that's not what I wanted to make at all. There's a lot of strange things in this crater, which makes me glad but also very confused. I'm not sure how you have whalers on the moon, and I'm not sure why they put whalers in the game at all, but. I guess the magic is for climbing, not for mining. But the mouse doesn't seem to mind. So. Good for him. The heck? Not sure what that is. Hello? This asteroid is in the way. Can I just make it tiny? Fine. I'll actually get rid of it. There we go. Dare to jump over the crater with a lunar rover. Sure. That was kind of strange, but I'm not complaining. Also, there's a cow. Uh, why not? Uh, remove the hammer. Clearly the cow is a more appropriate mount. Uh, translator. That's not quite what I was thinking when I said translator, but it works, so I ain't complaining. Can anything just fly here? I mean, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Clear the ground for landing! Uh... I need a lance so I can joust upon my cow. Wow. This thing attacks fast. Clear for landing! What do you want? Some vegetation. That's not how you spell plant at all. Plant a plant. A plant type plant. There's two more things, two more shards. Something to propel myself back to space. Rocket boots. And... There we go. Flying garbage man. Okay, I had a feeling I might need to do something with this stuff. I just have to put it in the can. There is another piece over here. I hope that's everything, but I doubt it. Is this cow supposed to be, like, intelligent or something? Keep spouting random mathematical signs. Oh, what the? Where's the rest of the garbage? Where did it go? There's gotta be more. Hmm. Oh, is this garbage? Probably. It's not giving off the same green thingamabobbers, but... There we go. That worked. Okay. Now we must consult the time-space vortex for whatever things it has for us to do. The black hole threatens to destroy our planet. Place someone who can study it inside of the cannon. 
That makes a ton of sense. It's time for the ride of your life. She seems displeased. And has transformed into a male plumber. These things happen. Something hairy. Hairball? I guess we probably don't have to shoot round things. And now she has become a female mechanic to drive something into the black hole. Well, the only thing I think of when I hear the word drive is a car. Is this thing getting bigger? Oh, she's turned into a male general. Load the can with something that will blow up the black hole. I don't know why Anfo is the first kind of explosive that came to my mind. That might be bad. I don't know. Make the black hole implode by something sending in another object with immense mass. Black hole. Whoa. Well, that's... Clearly that did not work. Okay, let's try again. Okay, let's try this again. Something with a lot of mass. Let's try a whale. No go. Uh... Building. Can't seem to put the building in the cannon. Um, I don't know. What's something with a lot of mass? I mean, black hole would be the most obvious to me, but... What about a star? Huh. That's cool. And a star came out! Whee! That's actually pretty cool. And that's that quest done. There is another quest. Right, the alien. It doesn't look much like an alien. It's basically just a green humanoid with antennas. Ah, run away! Create something that will chase away the invading alien cats? Invading alien... No, oh, invading... Not gonna work. Alien dog. Well, the answer to that one was pretty obvious. I like the space area, it's whimsical. The cats are gone, but now the Martians dropped off space zombies. Feed them, and maybe they'll go away. Space. Brain. Um, spare brain, that works too. That zombie looks... Two of those zombies, in fact, look more like robots than anything. The right a place to live that will withstand the Martian attacks. Okay, well, have a bunker. Yay! And one more task. <gasps> what have they done? Do whatever it takes to protect the shelter from this creature. Giant flamethrower. Burn! Oh, carrot. Well, that worked. Ha! Take that! Huh? You wish. Are you done now? Alright! And that's another star right.
80 in total. Okay. Let me continue now, please. Alright, level complete. Yeah, yay, go me! Huzzah! Success! And all that good stuff. I want to also complete the Syntax Station today. So, let's see what we got here. We gotta help this cowboy. I'm, I'm glad I still have my flying cow. Uh, my cow tried to jump over the moon and now she is stuck out there. Bring her back inside. I guess I must transfer this cow. No! It's my cow! You can't have it! No! Fine. Wait, use animal? That's a thing? Can't do that with this one, though. I'm not... okay. It's also... Apparently there's a starite shard for petting this cow? Okay. I'm willing to trade for his freedom. Okay, so there should be some form of... Can I use these teleporters? No. Oh, what? I'm not sure what that's doing, but whatever. I'll test the boob by placing something on it. Something. That looks like a rolling pin to me. Well, that didn't work. Or... It did? What? What? Why it... What is that doing there? Clearly, I must kill it. Oh god, it's fighting back! Well, at least I didn't cause some sort of paradox that ended my own life. That would have been bad. Real humans! Give them an environment to pose in? That doesn't look much like a palm tree. Shade cheese! What's up here? Hello? Uh, have a barb. Barbell. There you go. That last L's a doozy. And what's up here? What's Donuts? No, that's not a donut at all. We can we hit a firefly during flight. I can't leave the ship to clean it up. Will you help? Why not? It's going to be quite a trip to get out there, but I guess while I'm out here I might as well check and see if there's anything else outside the ship here. Beep, 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 beep. Could I just go out here? I could. Well, that's that taken care of. Maybe I can fix this from out here. We couldn't afford tickets, so she is threatening to send us out through the airlock. Then clearly, you need a ticket. Take that! Oh, hello. Uh... Hmm... Binoculars... That's considered spy gear, right? And that just leaves us with this. Master, I'm willing to trade for his freedom. Oh, can I just give him like a banana? Does that make you happy? Good job. Hello, scientist. Infiltrate the space station. I'm pretty sure I'm already inside the space station. But... I'll play ball. 
The League of Evil Scientists. Gain their trust to sneak into the compound. The first scientist jet pack doesn't work. Wait, what? Gain their trust. Well, if I have a mustache, then I'm clearly evil. No! Jerk, give me my top hat. I can't wear the mustache and the monocle? That's garbage. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Well, they mentioned the... Why is the jetpack the last thing to come off? They mentioned the jetpack wasn't functional, so... Okay. Well, that did something. Uh, hard time finding animals and show him an animal that can live without gravity. I don't know, um... Fish? They live underwater, that's almost without gravity, right? Knowledge! That's almost the same thing, right? Math? Huh? I put a match inside of it and that worked? I'm not entirely sure why that worked, but apparently it did. I have a saddle. Success! And what do we got up here? Uh, fiendish haircut plan, but lacks the tools. Uh, here we go. Oh no! The heck? That was somewhat strange. Uh, find a way to shut down the space station. Why would I want to do that? Ah! Uh, hello, Mr. Cyborg. Superior gets to save the space station should lose power and the cage will unlock. Uh, supercomputer, unpowered. Broken? Success! Well, that wasn't too bad. This whole area, in fact, went quite fast. Though we're only up to 82 star rates. I thought there was supposed to be 105, but according to this map, there's only like three left in the next area. But one way or another, we will explore that on the next episode of Let's Play Scribble Knots Unlimited. Catch you later!